There is something magical about watching the flower transform into a sticky dough and then rise to double its size. But there was a time when yeast used to scare me. Bread baking was almost like a monster to me. The word yeast would induce fear and apprehensions. So I decided to write about how I tamed the yeast beast and made the most divine chutney and paneer pull apart rolls. First, I mix warm water, sugar and yeast together and leave it aside for five minutes till it looks a little frothy. This means that the yeast is ready to work its magic. So I mix the flour to this and knead lightly till everything comes together as a dough. I keep adding oil to it and knead for another five to eight minutes till it starts springing back. This is my favorite part. It's almost like therapy. Now, the dough needs to rest. So I keep it aside, covered by cling film, for about 45 minutes to an hour, till it almost doubles. Meanwhile, I mix crumbled paneer, salt and paprika together, and keep it aside. After the dough is doubled in its size, I knock it down, remove the air and roll it into half an inch thickness sheet. If the dough starts sticking, use some leftover flour. To this, I apply a thin layer of butter and then spread the chutney evenly. The paneer stuffing comes on top of it. Now, I roll the dough from one end to another and then cut it into eight to 10 rolls of equal size. I like to use a thread instead of a knife because it gives me much cleaner cuts. I line up the rolls in a loaf or a round pan. This needs to be left to rest for about 30 minutes. Finally, I apply egg wash. and bake it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then I wait for the yeast smell to spread through my house. The Indian earthiness of pudina and the dhania chutney combined with the very desi cheese akka paneer makes it my favorite in my household. And before we eat it all up, I want to show you some. So doesn't it look like a beautiful labor of love? This is my food story. I would love to hear your story in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.